Hello YouTube and welcome back to episode 9 of Let's Build an Inca Plot. We've got quite a lot done in the last few episodes, actually um, getting through this plot quite quickly. And now we're on to the, uh, the fun part of it, we're actually going to start building the actual town. Now I'm going to mark a lot of the stuff out with cobblestone, <clears throat> sort of plan the, um, the houses and the streets before we actually just start building them up. And I'm doing that because we're going to have different coloured walls in the streets. So we're going to use up this space here. I think we'll have five across and then five back. That seven back. So we've got a three wide house, which normally I hate, but for this style it should should work, should come nicely. And we'll do another one along the side of it. Notice how close I'm joining these up as well, these two buildings. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this can have a little sort of indent in it as well. Why not? So one, two, oh dear. I have to go back a bit than that. One, two, three, four. One, two. So we're gonna be using some strange shapes. <laughs> um so we've got a five and then we've got a four. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this space really. But you know we've got that space there that we can use it. It makes the the shape of the settlement a bit more interesting. So there's the easy bits done, there's the the smaller houses done. Uh, I want a large sort of gathering area where all the Inca would be allowed and only the Inca. So I think that's gonna have to be sort of right back here and maybe built into the actual mountain or cliff we'll see I don't think they'd have had the tools to actually build into the mountain so up against the mountain might be okay That's, we want to have this nice and big so I'm thinking of having a section that comes out a flat section and another section that comes out so how, how wide's that that's seven wide we'll, we'll push for nine push for nine wide we'll see what it's like and then we can come across here by five that's six isn't it right so we'll cross by seven then in by two all the way across here and then do the same again two three four five six seven eight nine and then just go all the way back so that's going to be sort of our main Inca building so Basically, you're going to be able to go into here. There's going to be your pub area, food area, bed area, consulate. That's going to, that is the main building, as you can tell by its size. So now we want to add a few smaller ones. I'm going to have a small little square section here as well. Um, so we've got this small space here and I think I might want to do something with this space oh, it's not really big enough for a building we could do a well yeah we'll do a well so there's gonna be a well here so we'll just do that so I remember it's a well um, we also want to have more buildings here and these can be sort of quite close together these buildings um, so we got some nice one block, two block alleyways, I think. So three, four, five, six, seven. That can go all the way back there. Very, very basic shapes, these houses. But nothing too spectacular. We're going to have to leave a quite a decent sized road to lead up to this temple, I think, as well. So this three block one should do just fine. We're going to do. 7 by 5 yep that fits there you see we've got this really tight corridor now um, what else do we want we need I think we need another building here but I wanted to have a little market square thing here um, how many buildings we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 and the big foot right so we definitely need another building so we're going to have to do bring it in a little bit, we're going to go 5 and bring this down by 7, so that's 4, 5, 6, 7. And that makes that really hard to actually get into. So 
we move this all over by one block. And in fact, could just leave it like that, couldn't we? Or what we could do is bring it in a little bit so we've got an even numbered house. And then do another house over here, like a really, really tiny, teeny tiny one. Like, just like that. That's a bit too square. So we're going to bring it out by another two blocks. Yep, right, so we can carry on with this one. We've got a nice two gap wide space there. got another building in again we've got another little section of dead space here um, I'm gonna re-navigate this road so this can just be one big square building can get rid of all this on the inside now and then we'll just renegotiate this road to go and meet up like this and we want to get rid of this for grass and then every now and then we can just put a bit of the gravel in just so it doesn't look so samey all the time because the bad thing about this texture is if you do it in straight lines like this you just see the same repeated pattern over and over again and that's nothing to do with monster that's just the way ctm works so that's, that's just this sucks a bit we've got a small area here we can fit a couple of market stalls maybe three got the big entrance that's going to lead into this building that I'm still not sure about how we're going to do. Let's well, see, I think that's looking okay now. We've got quite a few buildings in there. It's looking good. I'm going to be able to fit quite a lot in. Now, I need to start thinking about our what's it called? The, the ranking system. So, I think it was white was for anyone to go. So anyone can go in those areas. And then the next colour would have been yellow. And then the next colour after that was red. So this is going to be slightly different to your normal styles that you see. Because I'm actually putting colour into the stone. Like what people normally think are like stone buildings. And I, I want to do this with Egyptian style as well. Because the Egyptians and the Greeks as well were constantly doing all of the walls with brightly coloured paints um, and stuff like that to get nice vibrant colours coming off them um, whereas because we just see the sandstone structures left behind we tend to just build in just sandstone for those type of areas so this is gonna make this stand out a little bit a little nicer look a bit more intriguing uh, when you come journeying through the land. So we'll have all this here. Um, these are all the just normal buildings where pretty much anyone can go. I think we'll do this one here as well as white. So you notice that these are all sort of on the outskirts of this little settlement. So that sort of tells you a little bit about the, the class system. And then we're going to have some sandstone for the yellow because it's it's quite similar to the cobblestone it's just a little bit more refined as well so it serves as two purposes one it looks a little bit more structurally sound two it denotes the higher class of the people that live here so this one is right close to this building and that's just like really good English isn't it right close Wow, <laughs> really close to that building, so that shows it. This one I'm thinking of having as some sort of little um, religious building, sort of like a little house for the people who work in the temple. You know, they come down, they live quite close to the temple. This one also going to be yellow, like that. And we're also going to have um, a section for the just the Inca and a section for the Inca and the higher people so that can be one side will be red and one will be yellow so I think we'll do this main front part as yellow um, we can have some fancy gate maybe we'll have a small little courtyard and then this side can be yellow and the other side can be red and what's great now that this is like the reason why I wanted to do this is um, 
we have red sandstone in uh, Conquest now. So you've got your normal sandstone texture, and now you've got the red version of sandstone. If I just uh, use the meta stick to find that. There we go. So it looks quite similar. It's actually a bit more like the cobblestone than that than the uh, sandstone is. So in fact, I'm tempted to swap these colours around. So maybe just the yellow is the like really higher power because that looks more cobblestoney, doesn't it? Right. So yeah, I'm going to do that off camera with world edit, but we'll just finish up with what we were doing here. So there's probably going to be some sort of you know building that goes back like that. Same on this side, there'll be a structure that goes all the way back to here. Uh, we can square it off there. And then this will just be some sort of like greeting courtyard area. I'll push the cliff back, I'll make it a bit fancier. And we can get some really cool and interesting things in there. So we can also just punch all that out. So it's looking quite interesting. We've got a very colourful little settlement planned out. Um, I know I've not really done much in this episode, but I've sort of talked about planning out towns, which I'm normally terrible at, as you could probably tell. Um, space for a small market here. We've got this nice large road because this is going to be leading up to the main temple. Um, so, you know, it could even fit a market stall or two along this side as well, right up against this side of this building. Wouldn't look too bad. And we've got a good amount of buildings in here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six sort of normal house buildings, and then you've got the main large Inca building. So that's that's pretty much enough for this small settlement. There's also the path over here that suggests maybe there's more in this direction. Um, maybe it was just one small settlement that the Inca have taken over, so they've just shown their wealth by putting this small extra building in there and said yeah we now rule you guys so maybe that's what it is well that's gonna be it for this episode the next episode i'm gonna be starting to build up these houses probably do all of the white ones first then the yellow ones and then well the red ones it's going to be and then the finish off with the yellow inca and then we'll be moving on to the big temple and i have no idea how to do that temple up there so that's going to be quite fun for you guys to watch and me to build so all that's left to say is if you've enjoyed this video and you're enjoying the series, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.